Okay, so today we're gonna review a new motherboard. This one is actually not a mining motherboard, so as the name implies, this is a gaming motherboard which has some cool features like six PCIe Express slots, so it makes for a good start for mining. And unlike most mining motherboards which uses old chipsets, this one is using a Z390, so more up to date if you want to use a more recent CPU, probably more recent BIOS updates, maybe less problems. Some people um, are known to have problems with the Asus B250, one of the first mining motherboards, which, which has like a 16, I think, PCIe slots, but a lot of problems. This one hopefully doesn't have any of that. So let's start with the unboxing. So let's see what we have in the box. Let's put that aside. Okay, what do we have? Stickers. SLI bridge in case you want to play. SATA cables. More cables. IO shield. And Wi-Fi antennas and this is important this is one of the reason why I bought this motherboard is because it has its own Intel Wi-Fi chipset so it's compatible with Linux out of the box and and it has good Wi-Fi so you don't need to go buy a module you can just use what's inside Let's have a look at the motherboard. This is a pretty tough stuff. Okay. Okay, so this is a gaming motherboard, so expect all the fancy stuff. So it has support for higher end RAM up to 4000 megahertz, I think. Has eight and uh, nine gen CPUs, so you can use Core or Core i5, Core i7, or Pentium Gold, which I will be using. And the part that's most important for us is here. And as you can see, we have six PCIe Express slots, including three 16X. So you could directly use them to plug in your graphics card. Maybe not this one because, or not this one, because now most graphics cards are taking two or three slots so if you want to plug straight into this you're gonna have to choose but you could plug two three directly on the motherboard of course I'm not gonna do that because I want to try the six and actually I want more than that so I will try to buy actually I already ordered from Aliexpress I'm still waiting it's gonna take a few weeks um, a PCIe Express multiplier I will show you a pick and this is something you can plug in into technically any PCIe Express slots but I will be using it on the main one and this gives you three or four more slots which you can then plug your risers into so I have six here and with the multiplier I will be able to plug in eight I don't want to go more than eight. All my rigs now are eight, eight GPUs. They have additional, I think, uh, yeah, additional here power for CPU, but this is just for high-end CPUs, so nothing fancy, nothing crazy. Also, I want to point out here on this motherboard, there is support for M2. 
which is not always the case and actually most motherboards on the old chips chipsets did not support M2 so this is M2 NVMe support which is helpful if you want to avoid making a mess with the SATA um, SSD. Now let's have a look at the ports. Here we have PS2, USB 2 and on this motherboard unlike the last one I showed you this one has actually display ports for the iGPU so this is more useful because old motherboards only had DVI and here we have um, USB-C, USB 3.1 Gen 2 and Ethernet and Wi-Fi so this is this is cool i will try the wi-fi i hope everything works as as planned all right let's have a look at the bios so once you boot you are in easy mode so you can just do basic stuff so what you want to do is go to advanced and settings And you want to go here and choose Gen 2, Gen 2, and above 4G. I use the integrated graphics, so IGD, and then power management and you want power on so this is restore after AC power loss so whenever it shut down we're going to restart we're going to turn on 10p here we have our RAM which is turned on and that's it just save and reboot of 4G changing integrated graphics speed to gen 2 So that's it for today. I've had this motherboard for a few days now and so far I'm very happy with it because getting one of the older motherboards, the one dedicated to mining, is a huge pain in the ass right now. They are very expensive, the few ones that remains because they are not manufactured anymore. So you're only going to buy from resellers on eBay or Aliexpress and the markup is, is insane like you pay two three times the price even for very old very bad motherboard like it's a Asus B250 mining motherboard so this one is very recent and you can get uh, very good deals on it I actually bought it from a French retailer for 100 euros and I think it's actually better motherboard than the other ones and uh, as you saw in the video in the bios it even says cryptocurrency mining so they know what this motherboard is going to be used for it can be used for gaming but it can also be used for mining and i'm just hoping once i receive the pcie express multiplier that it works properly because i've seen um, conflicting results not with this motherboard but on the pcie multiplier itself so i made sure to buy uh, the latest version i can find i think it's uh, version 004 for this kind of uh, multipliers you can usually find version one or two and this is the latest ones that's why i bought it from aliexpress because on amazon i could only find uh, version two so i will make sure to update the video once i get this i'm hoping to plug so far i have uh, six uh, GPUs on the motherboard is working 
pretty good for now and I will wait to have this multiplier to add two more uh, 36, 30, no, 30, 70s, yes. So I will keep you posted. If you have uh, any questions, write a comment down below and I will see you in the next one.